Step 5. Hat Channel Spacing Up on the roof there will be horizontal bracing called purlins in the building trade that will be affixed to the rafters. Sometimes these lengths of steel are called subgirts or hat channel. We'll call it a hat channel since its profile looks kind of like a hat. Right now, while you've got the roof and wall assembly on the ground, is a real smart time to mark the rafters with the spacing that you're going to be putting the hat channel on the roof. This will save you having to do it while up on the roof, so while they're there on the ground and handy to get at, let's get them marked. This diagram shows the hat channel spacing on various widths of our buildings. As we're erecting a 20-foot wide building, Naturally, we'll use the 20-foot wide measurements and mark those out on the roof wall assemblies. Just measure the top one out beginning at the edge of the eave bracket and then do the bottom one the same. Now, use a straight edge to mark all of the frames in between at these measurements. 